Thank you, Hanieri. Um, welcome again to Cardiff. This is, as Hanieri has said, the uh, tenth. Ooh, this is good. I'm breaking things already. This is the tenth collaborations workshop. Um, I am really proud to see how it has grown and grown and grown into this event, which basically brings people together to have fun whilst doing work. So, um, what I what I wanted to kind of do was give you a quick intro. So how many people have been to the Collaborations Workshop before? Okay, how many people haven't? Okay, so this is mostly for you. Um, so this is, this is trying to get a little bit of, of a bearing on this because this is an unconference. And a lot of people when they come to an unconference go, oh my god, what do I do? Um, because it can be very daunting. Uh, the fact that you don't know who's necessarily speaking at what time, the idea that you are the people who are making the program, these can, things can feel quite scary sometimes, and they don't need to be. So this is, this is my kind of little pep talk for everyone to say, actually, it's all okay. You know, you're with friends, and I think that's the important thing, is that everyone in this room is here because we love doing things um, together. So, Let's see what that is. Is this, whoops, why does that say to CW17? This is what happens when you try and, try and do slides um, after coming back from the pub. Um, <laughs> so we've gone around the country. Uh, we started off in Edinburgh and we've now been circulating around. This is our first time in Wales and we feel really welcome here. Um, what I'd like to say about the Institute is very brief. So you'll see that this is all sponsored by the Software Sustainability Institute. Um, this is the only slide of marketing you will get about us. We are basically a facility that helps people use and develop software um, more effectively. And it's on the back of our t-shirts, so if you want to kind of like take a look at our slogan, get a sticker, and so on, um, what we are about is better software, better research. So we're trying to work out how we can improve research by uh, improving the quality and the use of the software that drives it. So one of the things we do is try and support the community and to try and change practices and culture, which is why we started doing this particular workshop. Because uh, what we have in this room, and I think you'll see this from a lot of the talks, um, are certainly our two keynote speakers, from uh, a lot of the lightning talks is that what we want to do as a group and as individuals is change the culture um, in the places that we work. And this is what this workshop is really about. So, um, here are my top tips for unconferencing. So the first one is that you're not an audience, you're a participant. And what I mean by that is that without you, this, does, you know, this conference does not happen. So, uh, bear this in mind, make sure you talk to people, make sure you suggest things, um, but most importantly, what we're looking for is to see what you know so that everyone can share it. So this is really an embodiment of open science. Um, we would not have managed to get 15 of us into the same venue last night for dinner if we were not very open uh, about sharing what we were doing, how we were going to do it, and. Uh, indeed being open to suggestions. So share your knowledge, uh, not just kind of like force your opinion on other people. Listen to people as well. Second one is um, get off the beaten track. So you will find that in this room there are people who you normally would never ever meet from um, all sorts of areas. So there are people who study classics in this room, there are people who study physics in this room. There are people who started off life as administrators, uh, as researchers. Um, some people, uh, actually that's a good question. It's something, you know, like, there are all different sorts of educational backgrounds, languages, cultures in this room. So find someone you, you don't recognize as being similar to yourself and talk to them. Um, because one of the things we don't like doing at the collaborations workshop is going over the same arguments again and again. Because it can be very comforting to basically get in a room with people that share the same sort of opinions as you and retreading the same old challenges. So you know, you're going and you're going like, oh, wouldn't it be great if I got credit for my work? 
Um, wouldn't it be wonderful if I got promoted more often? No one really knows what I do. This is terrible. Um, and sure, we, we can talk about this, but um, try and take it to the next level. So what do we want to do now, in, in the here and now, rather than just kind of talking about what's been terrible in the past? And then the third one is uh, change the culture, change the world, because uh, this has always been about understanding how we do change the world. Um, and actually, this, this year, uh, the theme of the workshop is culture change and productivity. So it's right at the heart of what we're trying to do over the next three days. Um, and what I want to try and persuade you is that you can do this. Um, and then I saw Kirsty's slides and then I realized that actually I don't need to. I can just let her do it later. Um, but uh, some examples. So um, two examples from previous collaborations workshops. Um, so one of the, the big ones that we always put up is uh, research software engineers. Who's, who identifies as a research software engineer in this room? Okay. So quite a lot of you here. So this started off. Uh, the term, the idea, um, started off at a collaborations workshop only six years ago. So in six years, it's gone from being something that people went, oh, couldn't we do something about this um, at a discussion session to <coughs> look at you all now, um, isn't this amazing? So we can do the same thing for many different things. Um, a similar example from one of the hack days, um, we, we started doing the hack days as a way of directly addressing what had come up in the conference, to give people a day um, where they could, before they went back to their desks, really try and do something with what they had learned and the people they had met. Um, and one example is Recipe, which is something that was produced to address the problem of uh, tracking provenance in Python. Um, and it's now got, uh, I was looking at it on GitHub, it's now got 300 stars, it's had, it's had thousands of downloads on um, PyPy from people using what was a tool that was developed by three people who got together in the room and said, why don't we have a tool like this? So those are the sorts of things that you can do. If that still sounds scary, just find someone that you think is, is, is kind of like uh, the right match for you and just get talking to them um, because you never know what might happen. So. Before I kind of finish off, there are three things that uh, I am going to advertise uh, because they might be of interest to people. So we were talking about um, culture change. Um, one thing I'd like to draw people's attention to is who here is from or lives in the European Union? So this is for everyone apart from maybe Reed, sorry, uh, and Dan, yeah. Uh, so the, uh, who knows about the uh, current draft legislation for uh, copyright reform in the digital single market? Oh, wow, yes, excellent. How many of you know about this because you were in the Research Data Alliance meeting last week? Okay, yeah, doesn't count. Um, so there is some uh, legislation going through. A lot of it is very good. Some of it is very bad for open science. Um, and if you want to find out more about what you can do about this, I urge you to go to these links. Um, maybe the easiest one is the Spark Europe one, which gives a very good overview of what you can do and why it's bad. Um, in particular, if anyone is doing text and data mining, if anyone is perhaps someone like a historian or um, someone studying uh, kind of contemporary uh, politics uh, who uses news sources, um, and anyone who develops software that uses a repository. So I think I've covered everyone in this room. Um, there are provisions in here that limit all three of those things um, just because they've been poorly worded, not because the intent is necessarily wrong. So take a look at that. Um, second thing, again, around um, the kind of like, ooh, impact um, of uh, doing things well and internationally. Uh, we have a, an event coming up in Manchester on the 24th of April, which is all around uh, the impact of international collaborations. So if you're interested in discussing why these are important, showing you a support for them, um, take a look at uh, this event that will be happening. It's a free event. Um, if you want to know more, speak to Selena, who's, who's running that event. Uh, and then the last thing I wanted to advertise, um, who here is part of a larger software project that's, that's kind of like selling, um, oh God, uh, selling it uh, as a service or as a gateway or a VRE? Anyone? 
There's a few people maybe in this one. So this one might be for you. We're running the first um, effectively business sustainability boot camp for larger projects to try and learn, um, kind of teach skills around how you do things like uh, business planning, um, uh, kind of market research, and all of the things that they don't teach you in the software engineering um, courses. This is, this is kind of like if you've done software carpentry, this is now moving you into business carpentry, perhaps. Um, and that's going to take place in Edinburgh on the 11th and 12th of June. And if you're interested in that, come and speak to me. So, uh, just to wrap up, um, Collaborations Workshop is basically about what you make it. So I hope that I see people on their machines whilst people are talking. I hope that I see them talking to people um, face to face in the breaks. Uh, and most of all, uh, I hope that I see you trying to find the people that can help you change what you want to get changed because I know they're in the room somewhere. So thank you. Yes.